of this expansion was ingrained in the minds of our country. Why would they want to expand? Now here, here's the interesting part. In order to grow our country based upon a capitalistic society in the form of a government, a Republican form of government, they needed two things. They needed surplus land and abundant natural resources. If you're going to expand, you have to have open land and natural resources, yes? Right. Yeah. There's a point to this. Yeah. Come on. The reason they had to have this, and this blew my mind, it doesn't take much. <laughs> if there was not a nat natural expansion of land, if there were not new natural resources found, it would lead to class conflict. Wow. It would lead to cliques forming and groups forming. Yeah. And then instead of helping one another, they would start fighting one another. Amen. They would start killing one another. They would start murdering one another. Yeah. Class conflict is tension in society that exists due to competing interests among people. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. It's amazing. One of the most important events in American history was the Oregon California Trail. Anybody ever heard of it? Yeah. yeah. Leaving from Independence, Missouri, 2,170 miles from Independence, Missouri to the destinations in Oregon and California. The first group that started, they were 1,000 strong. From 1843 to 1869, over 500,000 people left Independence, Missouri and went and stretched the land to 500,000 pioneers. They sent out cover wagons, oxen and mules. Sounds like a road trip. This trip took four to six months. Can you imagine? Each wagon started roughly with a thousand pounds of food, spare axles. One of the leading causes of death, believe it or not, they trampled each other to death. They were in such a hurry to get to the natural resources that they all same time and they trampled each other. They recorded thousands of cases where this mother ran over that father, this father ran over that son, and this one ran running over each other trying to get to the same place. Their zeal to get to that promised land caused them not to care one for another, but caused them to trample over each other. And as they were screaming for mercy, they're still running, I've got to get my They had so many cases of common fire, they shot each other, and the leading cause of death was cholera, transmitted by contaminated food and water. And I wonder if that's not the case today, eating old men and drinking water out of some broke down system. Amen. Yeah. The winter snow was clothed the only passages through the mountains. People froze to death. How did they know the way? Do you know that in Oregon today there were still over 300 miles of wagon ruts in the bedrock of that land? There were 125 parks notating the, the trip from Independence, Missouri to Oregon and California. 300 miles of wagon wheel ruts in the rock. When you left Missouri, how did we get there? Just follow the path. Blessed be the name of Christ. manifest destiny fulfilled in their life. But the single largest mistake they made hear me tonight yes, bro. too much baggage. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Grandma's furniture <coughs> gotta take Grandpa's plow. We need that bottom chair. I can't do nothing with those pots and pans. <laughs> but manifest destiny was in their blood. Wake up, church. Wow. Historians record that in the 20 miles stretch from Independence, Missouri on that trail, within the first 20 miles, and I checked this in several places, this number is so astronomical, 
There were over 50,000 items discarded in a 20 mile stretch. Because they started whistling Dixie, going to the promised land, I'm going to the promised land. Good grief, Mabel! Going to the promised They were grinning, sitting in the wagon. Those stories aren't true. All their belongings were in the wagon. You were walking. Yeah. And don't you know there were so many miles the smart ones snuck around the back. Chunk this out. Chunk this out. That's good. 50,000 <laughs> items were discarded within 20 miles. Come on, bro. God of heaven. Scavengers picked it up in one of the worst, awful cases of usury was during this time. These scavengers picked these items up and resold them to the next group. Wow. Woo! Some of us have picked up recycled garbage. In the days of William Branham, the prophet of God, yes, he was. yes, I'm ashamed of it. I'm Amen. I thank God he sent me a light. Amen. Amen. I thank God he sent me a light. But we've been taught to discard denominationalism. But we let somebody pick it up and sell it to us. Wow. Amen. They just wrapped it in a different wrapping. Yeah. Right. Oh, now we're part of this group now. Take this with you. It'll help you. This is the word for the day. <laughs> 20 miles after walking. That's the truth. Picked it up and chunked it. I don't need that garbage. Hey. Come on, brother. I'd rather walk by in that wagon hey. than let this pile of junk take my place. Amen. I don't want a denomination spirit. Hallelujah. I'm here to help build the kingdom of God. I'm not here to accumulate things. 